Today I'm going to be discussing my GemRB setup which I have on my SGI Tesro which enables me to quickly and easily run the various games that are able to be run through this engine without me having to go through the task of making changes to the config file or manually swapping out config files. I'm going to start off by quickly showing you what I mean. In my icon catalog I have Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate 2, Icewind Dale as well as Icewind Dale 2. So I'm going to click on Baldur's Gate and there it comes up. Okay, I'm quickly going to fast forward through it and then I'm going to click on Icewind Dale 2 and there Icewind Dale 2 comes up and from there I'll click on Bulbs Get 2 and again Baldur's Gate 2 comes up. The thing that's important to note here is the fact that GemRB is a single program which has a config file which enables it to be set up to play any one of these games but what I've managed to do is I've managed to be able to set them up in a way in which I can quickly and easily switch between games without having to make alterations to the directory in which GemRB is located. So what I'm quickly going to show you is firstly where GMRB is located on the machine. I've already got my ETC folder open, okay, which is user local ETC. And within the ETC directory, what I've done is I've placed the various folders which contain the game files for each one of these games. Okay, so that's Baldur's Gate 1, Baldur's Gate 2, Icewind Dale, and Icewind Dale 2. And then you've got the GMRB folder. And within this folder, you've got various config files for GMRB. And what I've done is I've got various folders in this folder which contain the config files for each one of these games. I've gone into Baldur's Gate 1, so I'm quickly going to open this config file just to show you how it's set up. Okay, the important thing to notice here is to set the game type, which in this case is Baldur's Gate 1. So the game type is set to BG1 for Baldur's Gate 1. The game name is Baldur's Gate. The important thing to note here is this name that is entered here is the name that will appear on the top of the window when playing the game. Okay, another important thing to note is the screen resolutions. In the case of Baldur's Gate 1, the maximum resolution that it can currently actually be played at is 640x480. So if you set one of the higher screen resolutions, you have a large window with a 640x480 image which is the game surrounded by black. So it doesn't make sense to set it any larger than 640 by 480. Okay, the next important thing to note here is the actual path to the game file. And here it is, game path. So it's user local etc bg1 for Baldur's Gate 1. Okay, so I'm going to take you back to the where it sits. So there Baldur's Gate 1 sits in the etc directory. Okay, the next important thing that I've done here is in the bin directory where the gemrb executable sits I've created four script files, one for Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate 2, Icewind Dale and Icewind Dale 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Baldur's Gate one just to show you what it consists of. Okay, so it's an executable shell script. Okay, so in the first line I've got the line which says that it must copy the Baldur's Gate one gemrb config file to the position where it usually sits. So the config file usually sits in user local etc gemrb and gemrb.config. So each one of these games has its own config file. So what I've gone and done is for whatever game is going to be executed, I first copy the relevant config file to that position and then from there I cd into the bin directory and then execute gemrb. So that's what each one of these script files does. Close the script, the script file. Okay, and then from here, from this directory, all you do is you drag the script file over into your icon catalog, and there it sits. So now it's easy to execute any one of these games through your GemRB engine, which is a portable version of the Infinity engine from BioWare. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.